And we're going to be talking about this a little bit more. But, you know, I've never seen Smoky Mountain Wrestling in my life. Hey, hey in my life. So I'm excited about seeing this. That being said, what's up with you, Conrad? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be with you. I too have not seen a ton of Smoky Mountain. I have seen some, but this is a big show. It's going to be the night of the legends, which drew about 5,000 fans had an all-time gate record of around $40,000. Of course, we know that Smoky Mountain was the dream of Jim Cornette. And famously, when he walked out after Halloween Havoc way back when, Stan Lane went along with him. Bobby mm. Eaton stayed behind. And somehow, some way, Jim Cornette hooked up with iconic music producer Rick Rubin, and Smoky Mountain Wrestling was born. And this is a, a who's who who's going to come through here, including your old great close personal friend, Mr. Jim Ross. He's going to be all over this show. I am a little surprised to hear that you never caught any of this back in the day, Tony, like out of curiosity, just to see what your buds were up to. You know what? Here's a first Jim Ross was in Smoky Mountain wrestling. Yeah. What year is this again? Well, what we're watching today is from 1994. Okay. So this is right after Jim Ross left WCW, right? No. So he left WCW and went straight to WrestleMania. Right. That, 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 that I remember. Time. Right. And then Vince canned him. So he needed a gig and he went to uh, Smoky Mountain. Vince canned him, uh, what, a year later? Less than, I think. I mean, he's he fired him a lot during the beginning. Like when he started having bouts of Bell's palsy and his, his facial paralysis started, Vince McMahon didn't think he was camera suitable ready. for camera. Yeah. Right. So... And let's also mention of all the times to jump ship to the WWF 1993 with the looming steroid trial, probably not the best time. No, but it's not like JR had a lot of options. I mean, right. Eric Bischoff held his fucking appliances hostage and was going to take him off TV and make him a salesperson. Right. He went from the, the, the a announcer to the C announcer, just doing television sales and by God, Eric Bischoff held his mini fridge hostage. What was he supposed to do? Yeah. Don't fuck with a man's mini fridge, right? Never fuck with a man's mini fridge. Everybody knows that. Yeah, so listen, right. we want you to watch along with us today. And I want you to uh, pull your peacock out. I'd you always do Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, the show actually happened on, um, on, on, on August 5th, but you're actually going to be looking for the show after that, which would be August 13th when it aired on television. So look for August 13th. It's Smoky Mountain number 133. And uh, I'm excited for us to watch this. But before we get into that, man, there's so much going on in the world of wrestling and perhaps nothing bigger than what's happening tonight. Our pal, the greatest wrestler of all time, Jeff Jarrett, is going to be stepping between the ropes tonight against Brian Danielson on AEW Dynamite on TBS. It's an anything goes match with a special guest in Ricky, the dragon steamboat live from Winston, Salem, North Carolina. Jeff Jarrett has said not in character, real life, Jeff Jarrett. He holds Brian Danielson in the highest regard. He has the most respect for his game of anyone in wrestling. The now he thinks he's the best performer, the best in-ring storyteller there is. And he's not saying in AEW, he means in the world. And if you've been a long time wrestling observer, newsletter subscriber, you know that nobody has won wrestler of the year as many times as Brian Danielson. This guy has been in a league of his own for like 20 years. And tonight, double J as old as he's ever been. gets the step between those ropes against the greatest wrestler in the game today. And he's trying to channel his, uh, Toby Keith, man. He's as good once as he ever was. What do you expect tonight with Jeff Jarrett and Brian Danielson? I expect an absolute great match. Brian Danielson, Jeff Jarrett, and and I agree about Brian Danielson. I think there's no one like him on, on many levels. It's not only a performer, but a person. And I, when he first came to, to, uh, to AEW, I remember how excited I was because I did catch a lot of his career thanks to 
you know, when you and I started podcasting, you said, Hey, you need to start watching wrestling again. And so I did. And I started watching what was out there, which was basically all WWE stuff. And I saw Brian Danielson and I thought, man, this guy is, is tremendous. Yep. And he started working with us. And I remember we were in Chicago for all out, uh, when he showed up and he said, I can't wait to hear you call one of my matches. I said, are you, so, are you serious? I can't wait to call one of your matches. So I agree with, with Jeff Jarrett. And of course, Jeff is one of the real great guys in wrestling. And I can't wait for this matchup. What a, what a, uh, great job of booking this. You know, if you think about it, why not have those two go at it? So, but there's also a lot that concerns me about Brian Danielson in that he will, he likes to wrestle man and he's banged up. And let's see how he does. He's going to push the pace. He's the greatest doing it right now. And I he can't wait it. to see those two guys. Of uh, course, there's lots of rumor in any window, but we know what this is all about. Jeff Jarrett says he is trying to get Brian Danielson ready for his title shot against Swerve Strickland at all in save with Conrad.com. My name is Doug Gustafson, and we are from Columbus, Ohio. First learned of Conrad through his podcast network. I'm a big 83 Weeks fan. Probably got into a little bit more credit card debt than what we wanted to uh, during the course of the pandemic. We wanted to get rid of some of that. My wife and I had uh, luckily bought the house many years ago and had quite a bit of equity built up in it. We are looking to actually redo our bathroom, things around the house that we wanted to do with the other equity that we have left over. We've been talking about refinancing forever, and I finally just took the plunge and called the number, got a hold of him, and from start to finish, it was it was just fantastic. I had Diane within the day. The, the communication with her was, was fantastic. The process moved quicker than I could have ever hoped. My name's Doug Gustafson from Columbus, Ohio. I ended up saving $800 a month with Save with Conrad, and am able to also update our bathroom. NMLS number 2129, Equal Housing Lender. Save with Conrad.com. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson here to tell you a little more about what adfreeshows.com is all about. Get early ad free access to more than a dozen of your favorite wrestling podcasts every single week, starting at just nine bucks. That's less than 20 cents an episode each month. And yes, you can listen to them all directly through Apple Podcasts or your regular podcast apps. How easy is that? Ad-Free Shows also has thousands of hours worth of bonus content and docu-series like Title Chase, Eric Fires Back, Conversations with Conrad, and The Insiders. Plus new series like The Book with David Crockett, Monday Mailbags with Mike Kyoto and Nick Patrick, and a whole lot more. And you want to talk about early, you can't get any earlier than listening to the shows live. You can be a part of the live studio audience as we record the podcast. Plus, ride shotgun alongside your favorite childhood heroes for live watch-alongs, Q&As, and other interactive experiences every single month. Come on now, see for yourself what thousands of other wrestling fans from around the world have discovered. That adfreeshows.com is the best value in wrestling. Check it out today, and hey, when you do, the first week is completely free. Adfreeshows.com. <laughs> 